my God, we call that a movement. Yeah, yeah, it's movement. And I had still a discussion this morning because I have a problem with the word movement. And then someone said to me, that's my colleague, Professor Casey, said to me, well, maybe the best word to use is still an Arabic word, but it seems it exists also in Turkish, harakat. A harakat meaning there are some ideas, it's even an Aristotelian concept at the beginning, there are some ideas that put things in movement, that make that things start to move, and these things, once they move, they are really moving, and they move, or they put other things in movement. I think, you know, when we use movement in, in Western years, movement is something organized. And we look at that, and we don't see that organization as such. And we say, that's double agenda. They are hiding something. Because we don't see the hierarchy, there will be someone there who organizes it. But honestly, honestly, I'm looking already two, three years to that. <laughs> I'm looking two, three years to that because you imagine at my university when we propose the chair, they Google and they say, Gilen, Gilen, what is behind that? And I say, listen, as an anthropologist, I'm re really running in the field to discover, and I don't see, I think there is something related a bit at Islamic tradition in it, but very modern. Now, what is, now I come to something, and, and there it may be different between Turkey and the diaspora. Why do I think that second generation intellectuals are so attracted by this concept? I think because it is Islam related at modernity. Islam related at modernity, and at modernity means also pluralism. And they want to adhere to these ideas. That's really what makes it so attractive to them. And why some of them say we want to take some responsibility for our community, and that's the way to go. That's with my interpretation of it. And to, to end with it, there's another thing I see. I visited also the schools. You know, Lucena School invited me to visit schools in, uh, in Turkey. I was a bit surprised because they are different. Just don't think that all things that are given in spite are equal. They are not. If I go to, to, to the schools in Istanbul, I see schools where they say multilingual education from the beginning, even in one school, Chinese, imagine. Or you may choose between Chinese and Russian as second or third language. In Belgium, if you go look in Flanders, they say, oh no, only Dutch. Only Dutch, because we want to integrate, you see, and even no Turkish. So there is not something, there is not such a thing as, I, I think, a movement as a very well-structured organization. I really do think, and I think that we have to go back to old Aristoteles and to a certain Islamic tradition to understand what the concept of movement really means. Thank you.